Okay, we're here in Bosman Family Vineyard Cellar and we have Neil Buchner talking to Zwei, experiencing the cellar for the first time. Okay, great. Now Zwei, it's wonderful to have you with us here on this, on this family farm. And um, we're part of the Wellington region and here in Wellington we're very excited because on the 21st of September in 2012, mm -hmm. it'll be the first time that Wellington will be uh, known as a as a wine region. We always used to be part of the, the Pole region, but now we will have our own demarcation, and we're very excited about that. Yeah, and uh, I think, you know, if you, if you wonder, you know, what makes Wellington special, I think one of the few things that people know is that um, more than 85% of all vineyards in our country are planted with um, vines that have been grafted in Wellington. Wow. Yeah, so Wellington as a, as a region, we always say it's, it's the cradle of the South African wine industry. You know, we make the babies here and somebody else raise them, you know, so it's a, it's a nice problem to have. But, but um, yeah, so I can quickly show you some of these vines that, that I'm talking about. We just have a few, um, uh, a few vines here just for demonstration purposes. Mm -hmm. Um, and the reason why we, we graft um, in Wellington um, is because in, the, in 1886, in Marlborough, there was a little, little lice in the soil that, that um, started eating away on the roots of, mm -hmm. of, the, vine, of, of the vines or the vineyards. Mm -hmm. And this is not only in South Africa that it happened, but also in other areas in the world, and it really threatened the, the whole wine industry as, as we knew at that time. Mm -hmm. And what the... Um, people discovered was that the lice doesn't attack the, the one um, vineyard species called Vitis ripara. Um, the one that we make wine from that grows grapes is called mm -hmm. Vitis vinifera. Um, yeah. And that was the one that was being attacked. Oh, yeah. It was okay. eating away the roots. Mm -hmm. So what they did was they took the Vitis ripara as a, as a rootstock mm -hmm. and they grafted the Vitis vinifera species on top of it. So you have one year which is like you know, you know, an antivirus for your computer, and, and the other one is an operating system, system, you know? <laughs> yeah, so you have, this one, it's planted in the ground, and, and the last doesn't think that it's veneer flower. It thinks it's rapara, and it doesn't eat it. And at the top here, it gives, um, gives the identity of this vine. So then, what we do, once it's grafted like this, it's got this beautiful V-cut, and it actually exposes the marrow quite, quite, a, quite a bit. So that it plants. Yeah, and then these two become one plant, like in the movie Avatar, when the rider gets onto the horse, they sort of connect. <laughs> yeah. I would never would have imagined something like that. Yeah. So they, they connect, they become one plant, and mm -hmm. after we plant them out here in Wellington for, um, in, in September, and then the following year in May, mm -hmm. we take them out, and then the um, wine grows, and the table grape grows, and the raisin grape grows, they come and they mm -hmm. collect their, their, their vines in bunches of 50, and they can plant them on their farms. And there's a very interesting story that I can tell you as well. In, in Wellington, in the old days, they used to take raffia and, and turn it around mm -hmm. this little um, graft here so that the, the plant will become one plant. Yeah. And in Afrikaans, we say it's stokis dry, you know? But uh, the farmers in the old days used to take their children out of school to come and help in winter with us. So when the teacher says, you know, where is Yanni Bosman today? Then which <laughs> means now we are talking about banking. You know? So even today it's in, in Transvaal, uh, yeah, you know, people are talking about stockies that are because the guy's banking. He's banking not at school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's something that comes, comes from Wellington. Oh yeah. Um, here <laughs> on, on the Bosman's farm we've been grafting wine since 1888, which is a, quite a long oh, time. But they have been on the farm also for eight generations, which is a very long time. So. Um, it's one of the very old um, South African family farms in, in the industry. A lot of history. Farms yeah, and um, there's some, yeah, many more things that I can tell you about. It, it must be really exciting right. to be part of that. Um, yeah, part very of much. History and now we're taking care of, you know, going forward. It must be very exciting. No, we're very excited about it. Ah, well, Excellent. <laughs>